What to do, ladies and gentlemen? We have Ninja Kamui episode three. Absolutely no clue where the hell we left off last time. Uh, actually, I kind of do. Um, he was looking for some sort of artifact. Uh, decided to agree with the FBI's request. No, actually, no, he didn't. They, they were at a restaurant. They were um, talking terms and negotiations. I think they were attacked amidst the uh, negotiations. He got kicked. The guy that attacks ass. Um, pause. I don't know. I just came out a little bit weird. But you know what I'm saying. And then we were just basically getting a view of like the whole world, halfway across the world. There were some people in some sort of temple. But yeah, that's about all I remember. Um. Anyways, with all that being said, if you're seeing this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that like button. With all that being said, let's get into the episode. That hoe is clean as a oh, clean as hell. That's like a Greek statue or something, right? Oh God damn! Hold on a second. In one go, it's kind of crazy though. <laughs> There's literally what one, two, three, four, five people. All y'all motherfuckers were killed in a split second like that? That's gotta be the worst security known to mankind, bro. And they look like they're like, what, special agents or something? Bro, you gotta get better security, man. That's not really gonna help you, buddy. Oh, shit, what? What is that thing? Yeah, you're fucked, I ain't gonna lie to you. GG's. Where the hell did it even come from? Is it like in the, is it in the trunk? You gotta get better security than that, bro. Whew. Oh my god, that shit sounded so awkward. Not awkward, but bad. Oh, it was a robot. First of all, that's just fucking disgusting. Is that even sanitary, bro? Like, did you even desanitize that thing? Second of all, <laughs> I fucking promise you it's not gonna be this easy, my guy. <laughs> it's not gonna be that easy, okay? But with all that being said, wash your tongue, bro. What, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck? <laughs> Pause. Holy shit, I don't know where that came from. God damn. I don't know what you into, buddy, but keep that shit behind closed doors. I don't need to know that. What is this? Bro, this is just so clean. It's giving elite um, secret society cult. The piano is kind of hitting too. I ain't gonna lie. Also, why he low-key remind me of... Um, <laughs> I don't know. Modoc? Is that, is that what his name was? Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Yeah, this is what this is what he reminded me of. Oh my God, right here. Yeah, this is what, this is what he reminded me of right here. Modoc. <laughs> It's, it's given, it's given Morak. You know what I mean? You freak! Hey, yo, bro, what the fuck kind of weird ass shit are you into, bro? Bro, what kind of weird ass shit is he into? God damn! Why is he always talking about like picket lines and ass and shit? Okay, this motherfucker is too horny, bro. Okay, oh, this, oh, I forgot about that dude. So this was the guy that was in the car outside of Higan Estate when they were getting killed, or murdered for that matter. Wow, I would have thought he would look a little bit more, I don't know, like mechanic-y, like robot -y, but he just looks completely human. Bro, stop talking about him like that, bro. Oh, he's really like that. God damn, bro. Oh, shit. Yo, bro, that was his old suit. Yo. He reminds you of that dude that had the blue hair back in uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Just horny 24-7 for no reason. A bullet to the head. What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck is going on, bro? Pause! What other guy? The who now? Oh, shit. He, oh, no, he's dead. Oh, wait, what? What the hell? Have we met? Who the hell is he trying to kill, bro? Bro. Bro. Uh, stop for a second. I'm confused. Okay, so I thought this dude and this dude were standing like next to each other. I thought they were talking to Higan, but that's not the case. So one of them is in support of uh, Higan and the other is not, I'm assuming. One of them is the Reaper then? Is he the Reaper? Is me? Oh my god. Okay, bro, 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 bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn up, baby. Turn the fuck up. Oh my god. Bro. Okay, don't do some dumb shit where I, like, I, I just see you standing here the entire time. I want to see you fight. Move. Oh shit, where is his blade? Oh no. What the fuck? That was hard as fuck. That shit was hard as fuck. Why is that the case? Because clearly you can get the job done. Bro, this whole secret society is confusing as hell. 
He's in their pockets, most likely. Well, not him. What am I saying? Wait. But then again, he is making it seem like it's just a matter of factly thing. Like it's just a well-known thing. When in reality, obviously, it's not. I I don't know. He might just be in their pockets, honestly. Mike. Yeah, they're gonna tell him to drop it thousand percent. Yep, figured. He, uh, you're better than me. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I would have retired immediately if I could. Uh oh. He's in their pockets. Gotta be. I knew it. He is in their pockets. Knee deep, buddy. Where is he? In the middle of nowhere? Source missing? I mean, sure, I guess. Whatever passes the time. What the? Oh, they decided to meet up here. Hopefully this time they won't get interrupted. What is this beat up ass car, bro? Oh shit, he's showing his face. I forgot about that. What? I'm sure no one else has too, besides the secret society and their people that they know, of course. Man, it just occurred to me too. I know this dude's voice. This is the guy that voiced um a lot of famous people. He got like a sexy ass voice from what I've I, I, I'm not even gonna try to play it off. The dude got a sexy ass voice, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. He's his voice is just like it's perfect for like like the the the, the rough riders, you know what I mean? The people that are like are supposed to be cool and shit. It fits him to a T. Hey, traffic be like that sometimes, man. Lord have mercy, this ugly ass beetle, bro. <laughs> I forgot about that. You could not be talking shit, especially with a car like that, but come on now. That's insane. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, she gonna like him. Oh, hell no. What the hell is this? Oh, she got a whole fucking laboratory in her car. Yo. That's insane. So she's a genius. <laughs> Very mysteriously. Oh, that's him. Damn, so this shit is happening every day. You should have just been okay with it. Wow. <laughs> How does no one see the, 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 the correlations here? One person dies because he didn't do one thing. The literal next guy that comes to take his place is doing the exact opposite of him. And you mean to tell me this has been happening in more than one place? No one saw the correlations to this? No one saw the patterns? Uh, absolutely. And there is one that loves ass that's headed this way, bro. Your ass, if we're being more specific. I mean, we have those right now, too. Oh, boy. He looks like a good person, too. God damn it. Shit. Is he a good person? He seems kind of chill, honestly. He seems like he actually wants to do good. But this is in front of everyone right now. Yeah, nah, he's, he's capping. You lying ass bitch. I knew it was too good to be true. Bro, he look like a big ass dude. Holy shit. Have we met? Oh shit. Oh, it's them. Never mind. Of course he is. He is not pleased about that. It does not seem like your partners, brother. Yeah. You're not partners, my guy. <laughs> One obviously has a lot more authority than the other. What happened? Oh shit. Saved his life. Oh my god. Bro, not the car. God damn. Uh, all this is good technology. Straight to hell. Brother, there's a fee you gotta pay, my nigga. This ain't no fucking free ride. Oh my god. The fucking car is wrecked, bro. God damn, this is so irritating. Shit. And she didn't deserve that either, man. Who's that? What the fuck is that? Wolverine, is that you? Oh my god. Okay. Wait, where the hell did you get the weapons? Or do you already have them from the beginning? Bro, his face is probably hidden with like explosives or some. What in the- Dr. Octopus is this bro? Are those eyes? Never mind. Oh my god. Bro, he should not really be using this honestly. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like what? This is gonna be bad for his health, man. What the fuck? He just casually has like what, six arms in his back? What the fuck? Oh my god, that motherfucker is moving too. I will say that. I would assume that they would be a lot more explosive. I knew his freaking mouth were like laced with weapons. Oh my god, he freaking dodged every single one of them. This motherfucker is a dog, bro. Oh my god. Did he get him? Oh my god. God's motherfucking ass. On some Batman shit. You gonna interrogate him? He sent him? It's a machine. Oh. 
There isn't even a body in that. <laughs> no way, bro. No, that's some hard ass shit, bro. Oh my god, he fucking creeps me out, bro. I swear to god. All this ass that he's talking about. The Reaper? I mean, he knows the name. I don't know if he's gonna risk staying with the the um, the detective because he's kind of putting the, their lives in risk as well too. Let's just get the weirdness out the way. I don't know what the hell type of weird ass energy that motherfucker's on, bro. He got, bro, why is he so horny? God damn. Every scenario that he's in or every conversation that he's in, like for some reason, the topic of ass and relationships just gotta be coming up every single time, bro. So that's, <laughs> that's a little off putting. Um, the guy that just called them, I'm uh, gonna assume that it's the Reaper. And when the boss was talking to, um, who was he talking to? Oh, it was the guy that likes to ask. Um, he was telling him that he didn't want the Reaper and he got to meet. When they showed the Reaper, I think he was finding someone. And he was referring to how, um, I don't know. I think he was referring to how Higan's ways were like out doing the, the ninja. So I think the Reaper might be on, um, Higan's side. It's just a penny for your thought. Um, so if I had to take a while, I guess I'm assuming the guy I just called him was Higan. Um, I don't really understand, um, the dynamic between the outside dude and the, um, the, the boss. I'm only calling him the boss right now because one, I don't really know his name and two, I'm not really sure where he, um, ranks in terms of like, um, the hierarchy, but it seems like he has a lot of power, especially over the assassins as well. So he has, um, power over the dude that was trying to kill Higan or that is trying to kill Higan right now. And he just seems like a guy that, uh, that's in a higher authority, but when they were explaining the hierarchy of the, the ninjas earlier in the, I think the previous episode, they were, it alluded to like a, a group of leaders that all were like somewhat of the same level. So I'm assuming that he's one of those leaders as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I think he got, um, is probably just gonna leave the detective and them alone because being with them essentially is just putting them at risk. And seeing as they can't honestly fight um, on their level, the ninjas level, it's kind of unfair to them because they're pretty much get, uh, they're pretty much put in dangers that they can't really get themselves out of because again they're just they're just not ninja. They also just don't have like the capabilities to even fight them or protect themselves from the ninja. So it's I don't know. I feel like they're just constantly in danger if they stick if they stick with Egon. But yeah, um, other than that, fire episode as usual. Animation is on is always on point, and I can't really wait for the next episode as well. Uh, but anyways, with all that being said, uh, love and appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll see you guys soon, man. Peace.